this is the she fit bra now let's talk about this bra hey i'm nicole welcome to my channel hit like and subscribe and follow along for horse related fun you can follow along on my mustang's journey as we go trail riding and play with raining and today's video we're going to be talking about bras for horseback riding if you are a lady that rides you know the struggle is real you just want to ride your horse and not have to think about it but those girls up front will move and bounce and get in the way if you don't have appropriate undergarments so um i am sharing all the different bras that i have for horseback riding and whether i like them or not In today's video we're going to talk about the she fit so I think this one will be kind of a little bit of a hot topic. I will preface this video by saying that I know that there are a lot of people that seem to really enjoy and love this bra. It does seem to be really highly rated, but follow along and watch the video to see my personal thoughts on this bra. If this is interesting to you, aka if you are a woman who rides, check out some of my other bra review videos and also I have some videos where I review jeans for horseback riding and I just hope this is helpful to somebody out there because none of this is sponsored. It's just fun for me to be able to make these videos about horse related things and hopefully you save someone some of the time and aggravation and money that I have spent just trying to get dressed to ride my dang horse. Speaking of, this cute little horse that I'm riding is my Mustang. She's from a herd in Wyoming and she's been under saddle about seven months and I think she's pretty special. So here we are walking around. Walk, walk, walk. Most bras are about the same at the walk. It's not a very stressful gait. Bras don't have to do a lot. I will say with this bra, I don't think it gave me the most feminine shape underneath my clothing. And here we go, trotting around. Just trot, 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 trot. I feel like this job did a pretty decent job in the sense that I feel like my body is moving because you're absorbing the horse's motion at the trot, but I am not moving separately from my breasts. And then we'll lope. It's pretty steady at the lope. Now that you can see how the bra performs under saddle, it does a fairly decent job. Let's move on to my thoughts about this bra and what it's like to wear it. It's very sweet. Oh, she's so sweet. Alright, so let's talk about the she fit. This was the bra that I really, really wanted to like, but I just don't. So, to start with the good, it's really well made. The stitching is all even. The fabrics are really nice. I, they've, there's been thought it fits my breast well, but also it's cute where how they cut the pattern. It's very cute. If you see on their website, they have so many different cute patterns and colors and designs. So I really, really wanted to like this bra. It's the one that I'm sure you've seen the ads for zip cinch left. So you zip it up cinch the band and then you lift with adjusting the over the shoulder straps. So the band um, is pretty comfortable. Don't have a ton to say on that, but it's pretty comfortable. It is not an underwire, so you do get a little bit of the tube boob um, and it kind of folds over on the band a little bit. Um, 
Oh, the cups. This was one thing they did really well, was that the cups, it makes it kind of a little bit sexy, and but it's very cute. The cups are a little bit lower, like they're not really low cut, but a lot of times sports bras can be like, you know, up to here. And they've cut them here. And it's very flattering on the body. And I was worried that I would be overflowing or spilling out of the cups. But however they've designed this, the pattern for that is really good because I didn't have any spillover and it's just very flattering on the body. So that is something they did really well. It's very attractive. Um, I don't really like the straps a lot. I found, I followed their size chart and it didn't really work for me. Like I'm not a fan in the sense of you get the feeling that you're supposed to like you know pull it and it might be kind of on your back or you know towards the front but it ends up on me at this very awkward angle because it's not all the way in the front where I can actually reach around and press and it's not in the back where maybe I could grab it and press but I don't, it's just I suppose the back would be very awkward as well but on the side it's a very awkward position because I can't really go back very far to where I need to press it for the velcro and it's just, I don't know, it's very awkward to do that. Um, I don't really care for that. The other thing, my probably biggest complaint about the she fit is that you can't adjust the strap. So the way it's designed is that it crisscrosses on your back. And it's very cute, very cute. But what I found was that the way these straps are, they crisscross right over my trap muscles. And no matter how loose I have them, like right now they're they're fairly loose. Um, no matter how loose I have these straps, it causes me pain. I It's tension and pain in the traps, gives me a headache. It's highly uncomfortable. I rode in this for five minutes filming, so I probably had this on until 10 minutes so far. And already I can feel the tension and the pain in my traps, the headache building in my head. It does not work for me at all. And so I tried to play with it by uncrisscrossing and just putting the straps up over my shoulders because it's a cute bra. But the straps at the bottom, they're cut to come out at an angle. And so when I lifted the straps straight up, the fabric puckers and it won't lie flat and so that didn't work and I was very disappointed um so yeah so I just but with the crisscross straps it was just too much pain for me with that pressure on my traps so I was very disappointed that this didn't work because they have such cute colors and I really wanted it to work but I don't recommend this bra for well anything really um I'm very sad to say. <laughs> and now a few more thoughts on crisscross versus over the shoulder straps. One of the things I wanted to talk about is just a general trait for bras. So some bras, like this bra, have straps that just go straight up over your shoulders. So this bra goes up straight over your shoulders. This bra has, in contrast, you have bras that have a crisscross. crisscross on your back. I wanted to point this out because one of the things that I've discovered for me personally is that I am quite comfortable in regular bra straps that go over the shoulder, but I realized that some of my discomfort from wearing bras came from wearing bras that crisscross or had that racer back on my back. Because what happened was that when I wear those bras, I get a lot of pressure on my trapezoid muscles, which are basically this part right here. And so those straps crisscross there and it puts a lot of pressure on your traps. And for me, that was really uncomfortable and it would hurt and cause me pain and 
discomfort and be really distracting and terrible and it would just it would just really hurt and I finally realized that the pain and discomfort and the headaches that that was from the crisscrossing on my traps instead of going over my shoulder so I wanted to put that out there in case you're experiencing discomfort from your bras that think about the strap design because it took me a little bit to put it together and when I did I went oh my gosh and it's made such a difference making sure that I have bra straps that just go over my shoulders and not crisscross and put pressure on the traps and that has made all the difference in my comfort for bra wearing and riding horses so I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. Follow along for more horse adventures and we'll see you in the next video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and happy trails.